So what's included in a cost center? Cost centers can be people, equipment, or even facilities. They can be anything that costs a company money. Um, if something costs a company money, it must be accounted for, and we do this by organizing it into cost centers and then establishing a budgeted hourly rate for each cost center. So we might have a budgeted hourly rate for a printing press, but that printing press, we can't simply charge for the cost of the maintenance and the mortgage or whatever we pay for the printing press because that's how we're charging people money. If a company wants to print 10,000 flyers, we charge them a run time on that press. So if it's on the press for an hour and the budgeted hourly rate is $500, they get charged $500. But the budgeted hourly rate of $500 isn't the cost that it costs the company every hour to have that press. It incorporates the press, the pressman who operates its salary, the pre-press person who prepped the image to go on that digital printing press, the estimator who quoted the job, the, the receptionist who answered the phone when the person called to ask about getting 10,000 flyers printed. So it has to incorporate much more than just the actual item that we're looking at. For example, a BHR for the printing press to the right might be billed at $400 per hour even though the monthly mortgage payment is only $1,000. This goes back to what I said on the last slide. So in theory, this plush would only cost $6.25 per hour to run because, if we look down here at the blue, um, $1,000 an hour divided by, let's say that it works for 160 hours per month, equals $6.25 per hour. But that only covers the cost of the mortgage. And we can't bill someone every time someone calls the company. We can't say, oh, well, the receptionist gets paid $10 an hour and she t takes 10 phone calls an hour, so every time you call, it costs you a dollar, so no one's going to pay that. So we roll those costs into things we can bill. In this case, we can bill an hourly rate for the digital printing press. Next week, we're going to talk all about BHRs, but I think it's important this week to understand what they are a little bit so that you can understand why we need to identify cost centers. So a budgeted hourly rate uh, is called a BHR for short. BHRs are used when creating pricing. All cost center costs like employees, salaries, monthly leases, electric bills, etc. must be incorporated into every item that is sold by a company. Again, that goes back to, I can't charge someone to do an estimate, but the estimator makes money. He, ha he or she has a salary. So what I do is when it gets on press and I can charge an hourly rate to run the press, I incorporate the cost of the estimator and everyone who had a hand in getting the job from point A, which would be the graphic designer or the customer, to point B, which is the printing press. If we're going to print 1,000 postcards, we couldn't simply charge the client $10 for ink and $100 for paper. We must charge them a higher rate to overcompensate for all the costs our company incurs on a daily basis, like the mortgage payment we make on the printing press, our electric bill to keep the press running, and the pressman's salary. Plus, we must also charge a portion of our receptionist salary and the estimator salary and everything else the company uh, does, uh, everything else in the company that doesn't generate its own revenue. Once we understand why we're creating a BHR, we can take a step backwards and we can identify all cost centers, or in short, just all the costs that a company would incur. I'm going to do this for a printing company, but I'd like you to think about something in your everyday life. Think about um, if you work at a bakery, what are all the costs on a daily basis that, that the baker has to pay? So the following list of items um, are things in a printing company that the owner of the company would have to pay for no matter what. So the monthly building lease or mortgage, salaries for all the employees, um, Except salesmen or those people working strictly on commission, um, they only get paid if they sell. Um, if you think about a receptionist, she gets paid, he or she gets paid every week no matter what. Um, if they have one job coming in the printing press, uh, she gets paid. If they have 10,000 come in, she still gets paid. Uh, with salesmen, if they don't bring any work or they, or they strictly work on commission, they don't get paid unless they sell. So it's not really a cost center because they, they cover themselves when they bring jobs in. A company also has to pay monthly utilities, including your electric, your gas, cable, um, your water bill, whatever utilities you have to pay. A lot of companies have client services, budgets, or call centers. That would include um, entertainment in a client room for when someone's on press. They could be on press for eight hours, and every three hours they get pulled out to the press to do a press check. 
and then they have to sit around for another three hours so that it can include food, beverages for clients, whatever it happens to be. All your office furniture and your equipment, printers in the office you have to buy, chairs, tables, um, you have to replace them every once in a while. Routine maintenance of equipment on your servers, your printing presses, etc. A delivery truck and maintenance if you, if you deliver your own goods. And any other additional office costs like healthcare, 401k contributions, if your company has a lawyer or an accountant that they pay, they pay them per month usually. And all these things must be incorporated into cost centers when you create a budgeted hourly rate. Because these things listed, they're not going to pay for themselves. So when we bill a client, we charge them not only just for the, the paper and the ink to print their job, but we charge them for every step along the way so that we remain a profitable company.